What's up, party people? Never Fall News Network coming at you live, but not so live. Just wanted to talk about what being woke is and play this uh, Matrix clip here because, you know, the Matrix is a metaphorical explanation for what's happening to all of us around us right now in the world. We are all plugged in. We are all corporate batteries. Even the people trying to be the most off grid, they're super rich people if they're fully 100% like capable to withstand you know all sorts of uh doomsday events any sort right there's very few people like that like probably maybe a thousand if that i would honestly say it's probably about a thousand out of eight billion people so we're plugged in man like basically everything that i said in my sheep video explains about the utilities and now i want to talk about like viewpoints that the left feeds you and the right feeds you and then have the real discussion about what progressives need to do and talk about so when you look at the subject of being pro-life or pro-choice in this world you have to actually really break it down to simple terminology because that is actually confusing. It is just confusing language that, you know, confuses people. The reality is, is that you are, you do not want to produce another human being or you are okay with producing another human being. That's really what it comes down to. So in simple terminology, when your, your stance alone is that you are pro-choice, you have to realize that being pro-choice actually means this graph right here, okay? So when you're looking at how many abortions happen in the world right here, 37% of them are black babies, right? 22% of them are Hispanic. We're already at 59% brown people in the world, dude. Add on the last 8% and we're at 67% brown people being aborted. So when you're just like, kill them off, you know, we should be talking more about the whole picture of the issue, right? So we know that the reason why this graph looks this way is because of education. And that is because of systemic racism not allowing the proper sex education in the communities of people of color. It starts there. And we have the right doing the propaganda of abstinence only, which does not teach anybody any of this stuff, right? And it, it's just non-education. Don't have sex. Like, we know it doesn't work. So when we start providing these communities with contraceptives and the education, then these numbers will go down. But right now there's babies that exist and they are this number you see. So that means anyone deciding they wanna have a kid right now, like sitting down with your husband and going, it's time for us to have kids, let's try. Are you woke? This meter right here says no. This meter right here actually says that you, you need to get back to educating yourself and not just think that when you graduated college, your education ended. Because the purpose of this is for you to have a corporate battery. Because you are the person with money, they want you to have a baby because they know you will spend on that baby. If you don't have money, they're okay with you aborting it because you're not a good corporate battery. You're going to be a drain to them in the future. And I hope you really understand that. So the answer to all of this really is adopt. If you're not talking about adoption, when you're talking about abortion, it's wrong. And show me the network that is telling you this stuff. And then you look at this world population meter, people. Like, seriously, this is a clock right here, man. You can Google it. People much smarter than you and I tell us we have 30 years left and look how fast people are breathing. That is a virus right there. That is insanity. 
seriously. We have to bring awareness to these issues now or we're, your kids are going to not have a planet in the future. They will only be corporate batteries. That's what people need to understand. We have to unplug from that system, dude. They want to, they like, look at it, man. They want to use us, these corporations, to enrich themselves so they can build what? Rockets to go to space. Like, seriously, this is not conspiracy theory. It's logic. Like, these guys are, the rich people want to use your money so that they can leave the planet they know they have created by making you corporate batteries. That's really, like, tell me why they're going to space. You're going to spend all that money just because I want to go to space once? Right. Come on, dude. Seriously. And again, you can... Find the bullshit behind that by going, seeing Steve-O from Jackass go literally feet under uh, these billionaires and their spaceships in a regular jet. So, like, you can't just tell me they wanted to go to space when you can do it in a jet, basically, all the time. It's just, come on, man. And then look at this. Births today. We have almost 300,000 births today already. Only 122,000 people have died, dude. And this is every day. Open this every day and look. This number is going to be 8 billion by about the end of next year. In 1980, it was 3.5 billion. If we, this number, the current world population, not the leaders who are like a decimal point of this population, if we keep putting our faith in them, we're going to lose. We need to do it ourselves as people and remove our own oppression and take the power back, put it in our own hands, and they won't care. This isn't a fight. They're going to just look away and go, oh, I'm concerned about the other 8 billion people on the planet. Just be the change, man. Be different. Don't be a sheep. Be woke. And then the, the other argument of the abortion issue, like if you are pro-life, and you're pro-life and you're pro-life and it's only pro-life. It's like, look at this meter, man. The argument is for pro-choice. Mathematics is telling you, not your feelings, not what you think of an embryo, none of that crap. The logic and the math is telling you it. You can't ignore logic and math. Like it's what built the universe. It's all based on logic and math. So like, seriously, you have to be logical to be woke. You have to use math to be woke. When you're woke, you stop using feelings. When you're woke, you don't get your electricity from an oppressor. You don't get your water from an oppressor that has fluoride in it in a lot of places. And fluoride's number one ingredient is Xanax. Which what happens when you shower and Xanax hits your skin every day? You know what I mean? Like over time, that's going to do something, dude. Over time, that will do something to people. It will. It'll make genetic changes in you and shit. If you don't believe me, ask a scientist, someone smarter than us, both all of us, watching this YouTube crap. So that's the reality there, man. Like the, the, the real progressives would be able to shut down the abortion argument immediately. They're selling you propaganda in pro-choice, pro-life fodder to have you fight and look over there while the real problem is us. Us. So what my wife and I did when I found this out was we just, we were educated about contraceptives, right? So we, we use protection. So we protect ourselves. She doesn't use the pill because it causes cancer. There's other ways to protect yourself. Natural herbs, a lot of different things that you can use to protect yourself, right? So we're, we decided we are not going to have a kid and we will adopt a baby of color because if we don't, no one's going to do it. And there's no awareness on it because progressive media has been taken over by corporations that show you the same infighting. And if you hate this video, you're, there's really a problem with your mind. Because this isn't my opinion. This is the mathematics showing it to you. So 
if you think I'm wrong or whatever, argue in the comments. Tell me what you think. But being woke is a lot more than saying, not saying the N-word. Saying Native Americans instead of Indians. You know, it's a lot more than that, dude. It's helping a homeless person. It's helping a woman who has been raped. It's helping a, a person who's been oppressed. It's helping people in low-income houses get out of renting and into owning. And you need to really pay attention to my new stuff in the future about land ownership and how they purposely try to make it impossible for people of color to, color to own land. So a white person can go buy a piece of land and donate it directly to a black person because realtors purposefully stop people of color from buying land. They trick them and use all sorts of shady techniques to make them not want to get it. So spread out, move to areas, and again, the, this solves the not the nimbyism, the not in my backyard stuff. So when people are like, I don't want homeless people living next to me. Okay, this is the answer. Let's go off grid, put them in cabins that are sustainable, give them online jobs, give them resources if they need help, have them have social workers come by occasionally to check on them. You know, this isn't impossible. We can really do this. We need eyes on it so that we can get donors. Not me personally, but the, the movement of progression can get donors instead of people like TYT getting donors to hide the information from you. There are rich people who would donate to seeing a real plan that one guy came up with and one lady came up with together because their talents combined to get us out of this shit. So just be more aware of like your impact. And if you don't give a shit, fine, dude. But don't expect me to not call you out or be nice to you. You know what I mean? I will be nice to the people I see making change. The people who don't make change and I can see right through them, I'm going to call them out, dude. Because it's time you stopped making me drag your fucking dead weight all around. It's time you stopped making me, making my wife drag your fucking dead weight around. It's time you stopped making places that are skid row housing fucking drag weight dead weight around. You got like literally the media right now, the TYT all the way down to the Pacmans and the Pharaoh and Jimmy Dore. They're the reason we don't get this done because they're fucking hijacking what progression is and serving you stagnation. The same thing the right and left is. Do you know why? Because they literally like obesity if you just call people fat or you don't understand what obesity is about, you're not woke. Because what do they want? Fat sheep. They're the ones making you obese. Them. It's them doing it on purpose, dude. Because you're more profitable the fat. Like, look at the sheep video I did. The bigger the sheep, the more the wool, the more the meat. The more the bones, the more all the resources it produces. So on your end, it's the more corporations you fed, unless you're growing your food. You know what I mean? Like they're trying to oppress you. They want you to just be a vacuum for everything that is you. Stop letting them do that. And if you enjoy all the social rock star stuff, do it still. No one's stopping you. Just make small changes and encourage the people around you to do it too. And just, you don't even have to be as mean as me, but you can just be like, dude, check out this new solar panel I got. Be the example. Be the future. Show the movement. Show that you are progressive. Show that you understand economics a little bit. And it's funny that we get served our economics that when we take that class is when we are bored of school and ready to graduate. They serve it to us in our last semester of our last year. And it is a tiny little thing where we focus on stock market literally the whole time. They do the mock stock market and make you invest in it. And that's their economics. They don't teach you any of this stuff, dude, because they, they are breeding us through education to continue to buy stucco homes 
to continue to put your money into utilities and be stuck with that. But you don't have to be. Dude, anyone who's in a stucco house right now, your house is worth six times what a tiny home is. You could cash out right now and retire. And a tiny home, is that's more propaganda, really. They're small homes and they're livable, dude. My house is comfy. I, my wife and I love it here. Cozy cabin, snows on us. I mean, people vacation for that. Live it every day and love it. I want to help people, dude. I want to show you why that progressive news media is fake. Because they don't want to tell you the real changes. Adopt. Adopt. Encourage people to adopt. The people like... Angelina Jolie, look at how it went down for her. She's one of the few people actually making the fucking change with her money, dude. You know what I'm saying? She fully understands what I'm saying right now, and you all respect her. So if you don't respect me, respect her, dude. She understood what was going on and literally did it with her money. She took her privilege and did it. You know what I'm saying? And that's cost a lot of money to raise kids, dude. So she's putting a lot into it and she's training all those minds about it. So that's what we need is more spread. And look at how many people shit on her for it. They shit on her constantly about her adopted kids. It's just like, it's always some twisted little nudge at her or something, you know? It's just weird. They're not propping up. You're, you can easily... Do like how interesting is a report on TYT about Angelina Jolie, her adopted kids, and the impact it has on climate change? You have to understand this number here is climate change. That's pollution. We are pollution. We create carbon. We create poop. We create hair follicles. Like, unless you're properly using that and recycling it in the right way, it's waste and carbon. This is the ozone layer being depleted if you're an 80s kid. I mean, it is. We have to stop. And about having kids on your own, like, people need to understand and that the, all of this media feeds us individual ego and makes us all feel like we're special and everyone should have a voice. That is propaganda. You shouldn't. Really. Like, if you're, if you're not doing it like I am, should you have a voice? Should people, should people who don't be about it be able to talk about it? No. They definitely should not, man. And that's the problem right now. People should not be able to talk about what is woke when they're, you know, just these newscasters shouldn't be able to tell people what it means to be woke or to have progressive beliefs or any of that because it's all false, man. Everyone should have a voice is wrong. And here's why. And you can leave comments in the section. And again, I'm only speaking up because nobody else here is and I can walk the walk. I walk the walk so I can talk about it. That's the difference here. And if that angers you, I'm trying to unlock you from them preventing you to do these things, dude. So when you see that everyone should have feelings, that's not true. Scientists should have a voice. Doctors should have a voice. Healthcare professionals should have a voice. If you're not doing anything, the honest truth is you should shut your mouth. Do you know what I mean? Like if you're not gonna fight your own oppression and you're gonna leave it up to other people all the time, to lead the sheep to water, you have no voice. You're a sheep. Just ba. That's all you can do. That's all you should be doing is ba. I'm serious, man. Like, and that's the reality, and that's why I'm here today. I want accountability. I want to find the soldiers who are about it. If you're helping homeless, if you work at a shelter, if you work in green energy, if you work as a... Uh, anti-oppressive trying to squash oppressive if you hate seeing black people get killed when they shouldn't be getting killed you should be watching this news not that other garbage and it's sad that we have 31 people on board with this reality movement the mathematical movement the science movement the things that can't be argued Ever wonder why the left never goes to the right and fucking just gives them the math? 
and shut them down and go, sorry, dude, math, you, your feelings do not overcome math ever. Never. You lose. This is what we have to do. Math told us we have to do this. That's it. They don't do it because they're together in it since the days. It's all one thing. It's all combined. The corporate corporations donate to the politicians. For, they agree to do what the corporations want for the campaign financing. And they're locked into that or they get exposed because the corporation's more powerful than the politician is. So anyway, that's the end of that. What is woke and what is not? There'll be a lot more of this because there's a lot more to being woke than what's just in this video. So, Never Fall News, signing off.